I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna use my Farmville cups and talk backwards. Please tell me you heard what I said because that took a lot of work and I'm not quite sure I even understood what I said, but we'll play it one more time. Now I'm going to show you what I was really saying. Hey friends, it's Tuesday. You can tell me if you think that it sounded anything alike, but I don't think it did. Sorry, Vim, I kind of failed, but at least I tried. Anyways, on to this week's theme. The topic of this week is what our favorite Harry Potter book is. And I think every time I'm asked this question, my answer changes because I'm kind of indecisive when it comes to it. I definitely have one that is not my favorite, and that's the fifth. Because there's parts in the fifth book where I really just felt like putting the series down, like Viv said. And obviously I didn't, I pushed through, but the fifth book just had its moments that I wasn't really into it too much, um, just bad stuff happened. I think the first one served its purpose of introducing us to the series. The second one, eh, it was okay. I don't think that the second book was completely relevant to the entire series. It was a good story by itself. Same with the fourth book. While I loved the story of the fourth book, I think it was more of a standalone book in the series, and I don't see a lot of big pieces coming out of it as far as how it contributed to the series as a whole. That leaves books number three, six, and seven. Number three, I really like it because of Sirius Black, one of my favorite characters. Six, I didn't really enjoy reading a lot of the backstory, but I think it was very important. As much as I hate to say it, I'm going to go with Seven as being my absolute favorite because I really enjoyed the race between the Horcruxes and the Hallows, and I just think it was a very well developed plot for the whole, for the seventh book as a whole, and then as a series and in general, it brought a lot of stuff back from other books that we saw. So. I'm gonna have to go with the seventh, yeah, the seventh book, that's my pick. I didn't read them nearly as many times as Viv, I think I've only read the seventh book one time actually, uh, but I want to go back and read it since the new movie's coming out. Who's got tickets? Not me. <laughs> my silver lining for the day is that I got another call to sub tomorrow, but instead of substitute teaching, I will be a substitute guidance counselor, which is thumbs up awesome considering that was what my studies were in and that's what I'm certified for. You may be wondering, what am I wearing on my neck? I, it's my substitute ID. Today, I can't wait for tomorrow to come because I will actually be a guidance counselor tomorrow and not just a teacher. It's funny how much little kids lie. Like, anytime they do something wrong, they will flat out lie to your face. I feel like kids think that as adults that we're kind of stupid and that we don't catch on to all the little tricks they play. So I reminded my third graders today that uh, I was once in third grade as well. I used to be 10 years old at one point and I know all the tricks that they play. And it was just funny watching their eyes like get big and they're just like, I definitely am having a blast student teaching and I'm so excited. I'm getting calls every weekday, um, sometimes weeks in advance. So it's been a lot of fun. It's awesome for my finances. Not that that's the only reason I do it, but it's kind of nice not worrying, you know, month to month where the money is going to come from. NaNoWriMo, I am currently at, I believe, 13,000 in some odd words, which is on task. I caught up because from day three, I was playing catch up, trying to get back on track. I'm still nowhere near Andy's word count, but I'm getting there. Uh, so Andy, keep up the writing, keep going with that. Ashley, uh, I don't know if this is a surprise, but uh, you might have noticed Ashley didn't do a video yesterday, so she's going to add one on Thursday. Viv, I'm really jealous of you, Viv, because my friends are starting to be like, hey, we love Viv's videos, Viv's awesome, and yeah, you're so awesome, but I'm really jealous. My friends are like watching it because of you now and not me. Not that I want the um, attention or anything, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's a compliment to you. I'm not really jealous. I'm glad my friends enjoy watching you. So keep making good videos. Other people like them. People that you don't even know. Sam, oh, your videos are always so far away that I can't remember what you talked about. Oh, that's right. You are supposed to still name me as an X-Man this week. Don't let me down. You've had all week to think about it. Oh. You better not forget this time or drag it out. Anyways, um, I think that's all for tonight. Uh, yeah, have a good week. See you all next Tuesday. Comments. <laughs> that's for you, Amy Nancy.